Welcome back to County Line Sports. I'm your host, Bill Downing. You take a look outside, you don't think anything like racing. But I tell you, if you're a race fan and you've been to Berlin Raceway in Marne, Michigan, you've always had a good time. Well, I tell you, there's something even more special happening now, believe it or not, at the raceway. And live on the phone, we have Nick Messman. He's the track promoter and general manager for the Berlin Raceway. And Mr. Messman, welcome to County Line Sports. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, I can tell you that uh, you got some really awesome news uh, that was uh, bestowed upon you. Then you and Kalamazoo Speedway share. Uh, let the listeners in on this brand new affiliation with NASCAR. Uh, we have partnered with NASCAR to be a NASCAR sanctioned track. Um, we are one of their home tracks, um, along with Kalamazoo Speedway. And uh, now that they're running a Saturday or a Friday, I should say, mm -hmm. um, and we run our Saturday shows, um, it kind of. Uh, gives a, a neat opportunity to, to our drivers to uh, just kind of have a, an additional incentive to uh, race both tracks. Well, it looks like they're going to be the Outlaw Late Models uh, Division One. It's going to be the NASCAR Wheel and All-American Series points. Now, are these just state points? Are these national? Uh, well, what exactly will these drivers uh, be able to go for? Well, our Division One, the Outlaw Late Models, will um, have not only um, each individual track um, points, Mm -hmm. uh, to, to, to chase after, but now they have the opportunity to run for state championship and also nationwide. Wow. So, so they could go anywhere, basically, and race um, uh, under this series of the NASCAR Wheelin All-American Series? Correct. Yep, any NASCAR-sanctioned track, um, they'll be able to be eligible for any uh, any na nationwide points, basically. Now, when you take a look at the Outlaw Late Models, what kind of vehicles, if you know people are listening for the first time and they say, Outlaw Late Models, what are they? What type of vehicles are they? And I know your series was very, very competitive uh, at Berlin Raceway this season. Uh, you know, they, they're, they're very unique. How's that? They're, they're certainly <laughs> not a template style by any means, um, but uh, they, they, the guys are a little able to do a, 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 get a little more creative. They're mm -hmm. A wedge kind of type nose on them, and uh, their chassis, um, they, they can get a little creative. How's that? Right, right. No, I, that is a very good word for it because I don't think one car looks alike, and you're right. The, but it, it makes for really interesting racing. And uh, the past champion here back in 2015, uh, he had himself a great season. Yes, Brian uh, Bergaker was our, our track champion last year, and uh, he, he, he I know he's got a tr track championship down at Kalamazoo as well. I think mm -hmm. he's planning on doing a little bit of traveling. But, uh, no, he, uh, it, was, it was cool to see him uh, come off of the Kalamazoo championship and come up here and, and, and take one at Berlin as well. Now, one of the neat things, you know, you, when you watch other racing, uh, other than, you know, the local, when you see the stuff on television, you'll see NASCAR home tracks. Now, I heard you mention that earlier. How much of a, of a boost, you know, emotionally for you guys at Berlin Raceway to know that, uh, wow, NASCAR home track, this is, you know, this is a big step for you guys? Yeah, it really is, um, you know, and it's, it's just, you know, it's just something different for, for the community here. Um, you know, it's something to get used to, but it's, it's something that we're very excited about just being able to say, you know, we're, we're affiliated with NASCAR. I mean, you go anywhere and everybody knows what NASCAR is, you know, I mean, and that helps us, uh, you know, even when it's just, you know, talking to, you know, a, a local person that's never been to Berlin Raceway, right. but you, you, you kind of throw out that NASCAR name and, and they know what that is so now all, all of a sudden you get a little more interest out of them and uh, mm -hmm. hopefully you gain another fan well you've had a lot of nascar uh interest you know since the beginning and i believe this uh, the track was established back in like 1950 and you've had race car drivers there from kyle bush i believe dale senior was even there oh, yeah. too so i mean the, the, there's there is a a nascar family that has been there but now the affiliation you know is is just a huge stepping stone for you guys because uh you guys will be racing on saturday kalamazoo will be you know racing on friday and i have a feeling that these drivers are going to drive between the two tracks to get as many points as they possibly can yeah definitely we've had a uh, quite a bit of interest um, um from some of them Kal kalamazoo guys that mm -hmm. uh you know they've uh they've been talking about you know wanting to run for that national title and, um, you know, I mean, as tough as that will be, you know, I mean, obviously you're racing from guys from, you know, as south as Florida all the way over to California, wow. you know, and, and, you know, <laughs> in those climates where they're able to race year round, um, right. you know, it's, it, it's, it's tough for the Kalamazoo guy over the last few years to 
race 14 or 15 times mm -hmm. against the guy that's racing 30 times, you know, right. or 35 times a year. Um, and the way the NASCAR nationwide points or the national points works mm -hmm. is, is they take your top 18 finishes. So now all of a sudden, um, these Kalamazoo guys that ran 14 or 15, now, now they can run 20, 25 times mm -hmm. and, and have a shot at this title where they've never had that opportunity to be, uh, before. Wow, that's uh, that that's awesome, and I tell you, uh, Berlin has some of the best, if not the best, drivers I've ever seen. I tell you, I love uh, the different divisions you guys have. I love the way you guys put on uh, the race. I mean, so fan friendly, a beautiful racetrack, always making additions to it, and so many special races, uh, you know, that happen at Berlin. And when does the 2016 season uh, kick off? Um, our first race will be April. 16th. It'll be our fifth annual icebreaker. Um, we'll be running our uh, run, running that, but our actual season is going to start April 2nd. We've got a, a horsepower 5K. It's just a, a, a race through town here um, that uh, we actually get quite a quite a mm -hmm. quite a lot of people that uh, come out for that <laughs> and, and just walk, run, whatever they want to do. But uh, it helps support the uh, local community here as well. Oh, I tell you, you guys got so many different events. You know, you've had monster trucks, you've had MMA fighting out there at Berlin, and uh, one of the neat things that I, I remember from last season was the night of speed when uh, the, the same track holder, uh, record breaker from uh, Bristol Motor Speedway, mm -hmm. came up there and broke, if I remember right, broke the track record every time he went out on that track, and that guy was absolutely flying. Yeah, that, that was that was definitely a cool night. Uh, anybody that was here. Uh, we we got a lot of uh, compliments on that one that night. Yeah, that was just amazing. Now, when you take a look at all the different divisions we brought up, uh, can you let the listeners in? You know, it's not just uh, the outlaw late models. You guys run a ton of different divisions there at Berlin. Yeah, we have um, we have six different uh, regular divisions. Our outlaw late models, which is uh, you know our, our division one, um, kind of the creative division there. But then we also run our uh, template late model series, which is more of a you know like a CRA super series uh, right. type type. Car, I guess. Um, we also have our modifieds, our sportsmen, um, super stocks, four cylinders, and then uh, we also run a uh, VROA, um, our vintage racing organization. Mm -hmm. um, we, uh, you know, they're not not a hundred percent our division, but you know, we look at them as one of our groups, and uh, mm -hmm. they're here, I think, uh, five times this year, and um, it's it's cool to have them here as well. They just add a little bit of a variety to. Uh, to, to the whole season. Absolutely. Now, uh, is the ARCA Series an, uh, coming back this season? Uh, the ARCA Series will be back on August 6th. Okay, and I tell you, if you've ever seen those guys, those those guys, they race on dirt, they race on short tracks, they race on long super speedways. These guys do it all. And uh, Frank Kimmel uh, is one of the guys that I know I've followed through many, many uh, years. A lot of NASCAR guys have come through the ranks of ARCA, too. Now, do you have any special NASCAR driver, drivers uh, maybe uh, coming to Berlin this season, or you don't want to give that secret out just Well, yet? you know, I mean, there's always uh, there's always – Talks of it, I guess. You know, I mean, we're right. always trying to put something together to have something come up. But um, as of right now, I mean, we don't have anything locked, uh, nothing signed, sealed, or delivered. But right. um, you know, there's there's always that option. You never know. Oh, I tell you, when those guys come to, it is amazing, and they never really forget where they come from. I mean, they're always fan friendly. Oh, they yeah. put on a great race to get in those. I believe it was uh, the late models. I believe they get into. Yep. Uh, just incredible racing. Now, one of the neat things, we were talking about this off the air, is you guys throw dirt down, and people are like, wait a second, on an asphalt track? Yeah, but it, it brings out, I, I think it's neat. When the dirt starts flying with the World of Outlaws, you got the late model uh, series that comes through, and you have the World of Outlaws sprints. It just just makes everything, I, I just think it's awesome. Oh, yeah, it's, it's definitely, if it's if if you've never seen it, it's it's worth coming to see um it's it's definitely a one of a kind very unique event that we do um and it's you know this year we're actually going to be taking a break from it okay um and, and doing something a little different in september this year but um you know um maybe looking at 2017 maybe looking at doing that dirt thing again but nice. um it, it, if if anybody has not seen it do yourself a favor and come see it yeah. it's uh I'm, i'll be honest with you i'm not one of the dirt guys mm -hmm. But I wouldn't miss this for anything, to be honest with you. I'm it, the same way. Somebody that uh, comes from Berlin and as an asphalt person, um, the dirt just 
brings it to a whole new level. I know it's amazing driving down uh, 96, and you definitely know when the dirt guys are in town <laughs> as that cloud uh, comes over the highway. But it, it is. It's a great feeling. I've seen them in Charlotte. I've seen them, you know, just that they put on a great show. And it's such a different type of racing, too. It's just uh, I don't think those guys ever really come out of the gas in most no. of those turns. But <laughs> no. uh, uh, Nick Messman, I really want to thank you so much for your time and coming on here and talking about the brand-new NASCAR affiliation that Berlin uh, Raceway has. Now, if somebody wants to get a hold, find out some more information, Sir, how do they go ahead and about uh, and doing that? Um, they can go online to our website. It's uh, www.berlinraceway.com, or they can uh, call, contact us right here at the at the office. All right, Nick Messman, thank you so much for your time, and uh, let's hope uh, Mother Nature uh, we can get racing going. To I'm ready for some racing. It's been already long enough for me. Yeah, me too. Thanks. All right. Well, you take care, and, and thank you for your time, sir. No problem. Take care. All right. That was Nick Messman. He's the track promoter and general manager at the Berlin Raceway in Marne, Michigan. they got a great affiliation with NASCAR now. Them and Kalamazoo Speedway will be going for the Outlaw Late Model NASCAR Wheeling All-American Series Points Championship. We'll be right back with more County Line Sports right after this.